Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. Last Monday morning I arrived back home from another super short trip to Metro Manila and that's when I filmed this video. But I wasn't able to edit the video at all for a few days. I was that exhausted. <laughs> I am really getting old. But anyway, here I am now with this video and I'm happy to report that I made it work with this slightly smaller, more streamlined bag. I did an unboxing and first impressions video of this bag on my channel and I will link it down below. But for my previous trip, the previous one, I ended up using my much larger Kipling Art Tote which was a weekender size. I used it as my personal items bag in addition to a small wheeled suitcase that was for the previous trip. The video about the what's in my bag for that is in my channel and I will link it down below. In this more recent trip, I used the Kipling tote as my suitcase and used this one as my personal items bag and it worked. And I liked it. It is smaller, thinner. I really like using it. So let me show you what is inside. But first, let me take off this person with disability badge. This is what I flash whenever I need to get in line for anything. And I just used a necklace to attach it to the short handle of the bag. The necklace is just costume jewelry. In this side, which is the back of the bag, there is a small zipped pocket. In it, I have my fisherman's friend lozenges, one of my maintenance medications to help with perimenopause. This little Ziploc bag used to hold my vitamin E, another one of my maintenance medications for my liver, but I brought just enough vitamin E for my trip from this giant bottle here, which I keep at home. This is my Gucci Doc pencil. Video about this will also be linked down below. Another one of my maintenance medications for my thyroid condition, a paper clip, a ballpoint pen. I also have this Jinhao 992 fountain pen with a fine nib, more paper clips, my favorite lip balm, the Vaseline, and that's all that is inside this small zipped pocket. In the main compartment of the bag, as you can see, I have sewn in three metal D-rings and the stitching does not look good. I know <laughs> this looks awful, but it works and no one can see this except me and now every one of you watching this because I needed the D-rings to hang stuff on such as this mini floodlight in case of emergencies this is very very bright it is rechargeable via usb-c and the switch is over here and it has a very strong magnet as well normally i use it as a zipper pull for the main compartment of the bag so i'm transferring it to the zipper pull on the same D-ring, I also have my keychain, which is missing my car key because I left my car key on my desk at home, so now I can put it back. On this D-ring over here, I have this bag light that has a little switch on the side. Let me just turn off my overhead light so I can better demonstrate that when I'm inside a dark taxi or a dark bus, and I need something inside my bag, this light provides enough lighting for me. It's very useful and handy. I also tossed inside this bag my favorite sleep mask, and this is my coin purse. But one thing I did take out right after I got home, so it's not inside the bag while I'm filming, is my Midori Traveler's Notebook that I have been using as a wallet and which I really, really like. I have a video about how I have set this up and I will link it down below. I usually have it upright. Next, I have my eyeglasses, my fragrance spray, my sunscreen that I use when I'm in Metro Manila with the anti-pollution claim, a spray bottle of disinfectant, deodorant, aloe vera gel that I have decanted into this small pump bottle, disposable straws, my charging cable for my iPhone, my power bank, this is 20,000 milliamp here with three power out ports. The micro USB port is for power in only. This is a bottle of water given to me by my classmate Camille. And here is my mesh pouch that carries the rest of my stuff.
In the front pocket, I have medication for allergies, pain and fever, and the office address of a government official, extra hair ties, the lanyard that came with my person with disability badge, a keychain from Uncle Wide's, two carabiners, paracetamol. In the main compartment, I have this micro USB cable for my Kindle, although I did not bring my Kindle on the trip. My AirPods, the extender USB cable for my electric blanket that I use on the bus, the charging cable for my Guja Dock pencil, charging cable for my Apple Watch. This is the self-inking stamp that I use whenever I give a copy of my novel to someone. And I'm finally using this pencil again. This is the Tombow Monograph Zero Mechanical Pencil in 0.5. I have a video about this on my channel and I will link it down below. A Wingsong 698 fountain pen and a Jin Hao 82 fountain pen. A black marker, a blue clicker ballpoint pen, and the lead that I use in the Tombow, this is the 4B lead from Uni. It is darker and softer than the usual leads. And that is all that was inside the mesh pouch. Back in the bag, I have wet wipes, maxi pad, and I also have a box of motion sickness patches that I requested from my cousin Josephine when she came for a visit. I do not normally get motion sickness, but recently I have noticed that I'm no longer resilient when traveling, so maybe I might end up needing these. Hopefully I won't, but in case I need these, they will be there for me. I did make this small insert for the bag. This is the same material that I used for the insert f that I made for my Kipling tote. I will link the video about that down below. And I think I should sew in one divider in the middle so that will prevent upright things from falling over. I also have this old snap envelope where I keep my loose papers and my face mask. This one is empty actually. I need to put a new pack in. In this laptop compartment, I have my laptop pouch because I always double bag my laptop old face mask. And by the way, there is another zippered pocket inside the bag, but I don't keep anything here except for the original tags that came with the bag. Inside the laptop pouch is, of course, my laptop, which is the 13 inch MacBook Pro M2. I have an unboxing video of this, which I will link down below. And here is a handout from my film class with award-winning filmmaker Armando Lau. This was a handout for an assignment. I will just keep this in the pouch for now. In the pocket of the pouch, I have my ancient iPhone cable that I've had since 2016. My Sanho hyperdrive. Video about this hyperdrive will be linked down below. I also have the basic dongle from Apple an even older pair of wired earbuds from Apple, and the USB-C cable that came with my laptop. My AirPods inside a super cute Totoro case, and this tiny USB-A to USB-C adapter. And that is everything that is inside my much smaller bag when I was out and about in Metro Manila for two days. I'm actually going to Metro Manila again for the Manila International Book Fair and I will have a video about that on my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye!